First, let's briefly describe the rise of capitalism. This economic system grew from feudalism in the 16th century and resulted from societal shifts as we went from using markets periodically to producing for the market as the all-consuming task. There was a move from peasant proprietor production to a tenant system. It created a market for land leases where the farmer or worker could keep all surplus after rent instead of giving it to the local landlord like in the feudal system. These tenant farmers would in turn hire landless peasants and others as wage laborers. As more English land came under this system, forcing the majority of landless peasants to accept wage labor, the state enacted enclosure acts to privatize communal land for farming and hunting. Plus added the 1744 Vagrancy Act, which severely punished those, quote, who refused to work for the usual and common wages. Karl Marx would argue that this was the first time society became subordinate to markets through economic coercion and not political coercion. The first, quote, market society was born. Other countries would copy these policies and systems. Britain's population would explode during this time, and with technological innovations, would lead to the Industrial Revolution to soon follow in the 19th century. The capitalists would create massive factories and forces of industry, chaining the new wage labor force to 12-hour work shifts, producing 10 million tons of coal in Britain alone. This massive labor force, many women and children as well, would become the oppressed and exploited proletariat class that would be the central focus of all modern socialist and Marxist theory. The philosophers and economists along the way of this societal shift would also evolve political theory in ways that would supremely shape our modern world. They would inspire massive revolutions that would forever change the landscape of global politics.